If your car is stolen and he's your friend and you knew each other, why didn't you just say, come on over, I'll give you your $3,000 back that you gave me less than a month ago? There's an answer to that question. Yes, ma'am, there is. And it goes back to the original agreement that we made. The original agreement that we made was that I was going to find a buyer on Craigslist who was willing to give me the cash full up front. He told me, he said, I would like to buy your car from you, but I can only do it in payments. I said, I will not accept payments. I want the money up front. And it he still asked me, can I buy your car from you and I will make it in payments. And I said, listen, Artie, I said, the only way that I'm gonna take your money in payments is if you agree that if I do find a buyer and they do pay for the car in full, then I will reimburse you any money that you have paid. And you, you didn't have a car anymore. Someone stole your car on June 3rd. Why didn't you give him his $3,000 back on June 3rd? Right, so now we have No, this... just tell me why you no longer have anything to sell either to him or anybody else. So don't give me a whole song and dance, Artie, if I find somebody else to buy my car. You had no car. It was stolen. You had no idea that it was going to be recovered or found or the condition it was going to be when it was recovered or found. Why didn't you say, Artie, come over and I'll have you $3,000 for you on June 3rd, on June 4th, on June 5th? Why? Yes, and I did call him and I did tell him the car was stolen and that I would have to make payments. Why? I... Why would you have to make payments? He had just given you the money. The answer is either I spent it, I didn't have it, I used it for a plane ticket. I didn't want to give him his money back. I'm going to Egypt, he'll never find me. <laughs> Any one of those things. Why should you make payments to him is the question. I did have money and So money... then why didn't you give him the money on June 3rd, 4th or 5th? Because that money was not used to repay him the $3,000 once the car was stolen, which is why I had requested from Artie, just like I had did the favor for him, when he had asked to... Passive-aggressive. She's a passive-aggressive. She actually convinces herself, either she convinces herself that there's some logic to her statement, right? Mm. Or she's somehow unbalanced. It's a simple question. You didn't pay him back the money because you were leaving for Egypt, you had his $3,000, and he didn't have a car. And the car that he didn't have, you would put in a friend's name. You're a hustler. You're a hustler. Now, she came back from Egypt, right? Yes. Yeah. In what month? She came back in September, beginning of September, I believe. And she took the car back. She was, well, at this point, I was kind of fed up with her, so I was kind of ignoring her, her text messages. But she wanted the car back. Yes, yeah, she finally wanted it. She wanted it back, so I agreed. So the next, the, she came to my house and the truck had, um, the pump had went out. So I agreed to just go ahead and give it back to her because I knew she probably had some sentimental values to it, had no problem with it. And she agreed to make, uh, she, on September 9th, she printed out a promissory note that she was going to pay me and she was going to start the payments on December 15th. She said she needed about three months to get situated back in the States and that she, uh, so I, I went ahead and just went along with it. I really wanted it up front. But I was just, you know, there I go being nice. Gave her the three months. She didn't come through December 15th. Gave her the extra 45 days that it says on the promissory note. Where was and the then car I all this time? I given it back to her. I given it back to her on when she came back from Egypt in September. Did you drive the car in June, July, and August? I didn't have a license, so I had it parked in my uh, facility, but I drove it a couple of times. Well, that's not good to drive a car without a license, sir. I know, Your Honor. If you had to rent a car, it would have cost you at least $250 a month. That's $750. How much did it cost you to get the car out of impound? Anything? I didn't have to get it out of impound. I retrieved it from Lancaster. Okay. You owe him $2,250. Judgment for the plaintiff. We're done. Parties are excused. You may step out. She's a great judge. Well, I think it was fair. You know, I just wanted my money back. I owed him money. I'm not mad. I just, this is all business to me.